Hey guys, welcome to the new season of Terracraft. I can fly! Woo! No, but really, uh, Ptolemy, if you're watching this, please do not take away my admin privileges. This was just a joke. Now that I turned off creative mode, um, I just wanted to actually do the intro. Hi guys, welcome to season... I forgot at this point. Season 8 of Terracraft. Um, you can tell that I have a new skin, I got it from the Minecraft store, but, um, anyways, don't mind my skin, I mean, I, I, I think I look good, <laughs> oh, someone joined, uh, but, anyways, this is the first episode of my Terracrafts Season 8 series, uh, there's a house over there, I did have a clip of... A video but it got corrupted and uh, now I can't put it in the video so that kind of sucks but anyways nothing happened much um, me and Mando are teaming again and um, basically Ptolemy is giving everyone admin so thank you Ptolemy but Mando wants me to make a hobbit hole like in the mountain over there and he made made something here like a house and it did not go quite well also there are heads um there's a head mod um basically it's like a head you can sit on it for some reason and we didn't know you can't break it but we didn't know this me and mando found out if you crouch and left click you can get it so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so Mando has this villager and I had these. Uh, you have to kill mobs, but this one, uh, the crafting table one, don't ask. I did not give myself that. Uh, but also I did not give myself 64 steak. Um, I wanted to patch up the dirt over here, but I don't have enough dirt. And I want to move all the stuff. And... Uh, I'm basically gonna remove all of this. I'm going on creative just to break this because Mando was trying to give me an example of what he wanted as a base. Um, don't mind me. But basically, uh, he wants a hobbit hole. Um, and I will make it for him. But just need to clear... Okay, so I got this fire aspect sword, so... I should give myself a normal sword, and, um, this isn't really cheating, I guess, it's just filling up the holes. I will actually go back to, um, survival, and I need to move all this stuff over there, but, um, I do want to, since there's not the right wood here, oh, actually, I can get this kind of wood. Never mind, there's the right wood. Um, I was going to give myself wood, but that would really be cheating. Okay, so I'm just going to get some trees. Oh, okay. I forgot there's a ravine here. Um, so, yeah, we didn't do much except um, go down this ravine. Uh, had a party with everyone in a Terracraft. And basically that's it. I'm gonna chop down this wood. So see you uh, when I'm back, when I'm done with this. So I just got a stack of uh, dark oak logs. And no, I did not go to creative and get it. I actually chopped down trees for it. But um, I want to do what Manda wanted me to do over there. And I might need to clear out the area. So, so I just cleared out this whole part. Um, and I just removed all the trees, and now I kind of want to build it with, out of birch instead of dark oak, because there's so much birch around. And I also <laughs> killed a uh, donkey and another wandering chater, but I want to see how this looks like. Ew, that doesn't even look like... Ew, his nose is so up there, uh, but I'll take that back. Uh, yeah, but anyways, I want to really make a trophy collection and, um, all that, so 
Might be killing some mobs a lot. <laughs> Even though I might not get their heads. Uh, I think it's rare for these kinds of mobs. Like sheep and cow and pigs. But it's not rare for uh, like wandering traders. Like for wandering traders it would be 100% rate. Uh, but for these kinds of sheep I don't think uh, it's 100%. It's lower. And like the other mobs as well, like chicken, cows, and pigs. I think it's more of the mobs that um, are harder to like really obtain or kill. So yeah, but anyways, I'm going to make a hobbit hole. And um, Mando did it pretty well. Uh, I don't know if I can replicate it like that. Um, he says I'm good at building, but... Uh, I don't know, I'm not that good at building. So uh, let's just uh, see how I do. I'll be back. Okay, so I finished some of it. And this took me a little while, more than I thought it would be. Because I couldn't get the shape right. And I needed to extend the mountain out more. But this is the front, and this is the side, the window. There's a closet, and here's the roof. And... Uh, while I was in the process of making this, my friend told me that I can uh, build things in creative and do whatever I want. Uh, but I just have to follow the rules of just building in creative. Uh, here's a roof, by the way. Um, I did not tell you guys this, but mostly everyone got admin for TerraCraft this season because uh, <laughs> my friend just wanted to have fun with everyone so um, he is allowing me to build in creative so this was a waste of time also because in the process my good friend Mando decided to build over there when he told me to build a hobbit hole so that that was great um, so I'm gonna move this I'm going to abandon it uh, I've been collecting some things I've been uh, trying to get some heads. Some uh, heads here. Don't mind me. I killed some villagers. But uh, anyways. I There's just a chest full of stuff. So uh, I don't know what to do right now. But I'm going to go in creative. And just. Um, I guess build. I want to build near Mando, and I'll show you guys his house real quick, but, um, he's done pretty good with his builds, uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of salty that he built a little farther away, and I built him a hobbit hole to, for us, but, uh, and he didn't want to use it, so, yeah, but anyways, doesn't really matter now. Uh, he didn't move any of his stuff into the house, mainly because we do share the stuff here but um just gonna get all the stuff in and uh yeah i'm not going to uh cheat anything with admin of course and um i was testing admin before by uh getting some stuff but i am not going to get any items or anything uh it is a rule that my friend also made and I also don't want to get any items because uh it would just make the the survival game just not really fun and I know like having creative on and um playing like this is like uh also like really cheating kind of way like you're building a house while in creative um and it's cheating but I do like, <laughs> it's hard to build in survival. Like, here, I'll show you Mando's house. Uh, Mando, basically, it's his house. Um, he built all this. Loves his heads. Um, has a lot of painting, some beds. His staircase, uh, I would have used stairs instead of blocks, but... This, he said this is his, uh, collection of heads. This is the balcony. And I do like what he has done. Like, he has done a lot. Uh, I don't really like the flooring here. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Like, I know there's supposed to be lights and all that, but... Uh, I don't really like it. Uh, but anyways, I do like everything else. The heads and all that. 
Um, I will not get any of the mob heads because um, I am able to get them. So I won't cheat like that. I will not uh, grab an item like that, but I will grab it if it is not obtainable in uh, survival like these beacons. But if they are um, obtainable like mob heads, then I will not get them. Uh, but this is Mando's sister's house, and she has a very nice uh, outdoor space and a tiny cabin kind of thing. Her horse is outside. Uh, but let me just. Sorry, I'm going to just do this because I do not want the time to be dark. Uh, but this is this is basically spawn, and if our beds get destroyed. It is uh, convenient that it spawns right here. So, um, yeah, but this is uh, someone else's. This house has been here for a while, but I don't know whose house it is. Anyways, I'm going to build a... Uh, what is this? I don't know what this is. The mine. I see. Oh, I did not see that he customized this. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to build... I was going to build here, but he put the mine here. So, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to build anywhere. Uh, I will, I guess, try and build somewhere around here. So, yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I finished the house. It took me a whole day. I really did spend time on it, and I do really like what I built. Um, I was going to build it here, but um, the there wasn't enough space, so I, I was going to move it. So I moved Mando's sister's house over there instead. I'm sorry if you're watching this, but uh, I had to move your house, um, and it is perfectly the same, just... Um, a different side anyways um here is the reveal of the house sorry about the beacons three two one and that's what it looks like um so uh, i did spend a lot of time on it and i really like how it turned out um on the top that's uh i think tyler's uh ship a spaceship that he's trying to build from star wars but um looks pretty cool but anyways uh if you come down here i left some signs because he uh, sorry but i left some signs because the sign said sorry but there's no way you got those diamond blocks on the top uh so i'm gonna check that out later and i told him that it was just for decoration and um i wasn't really planning on using it and also uh he, I think he broke my be uh, beacons, probably because they're annoying, but I <laughs> I rebuilt them uh, because they are cool. These two problems will get resolved at near the end of the video, so don't worry about it because um, at that time I was just really annoyed by it, but yeah. But anyways, here's the building. This is like a dome area here, and um... I replicated it on each side so they are both even uh, I had some lantern pillars so that there's light and basically here's the diamond thing that was that he was saying about and he broke it I fixed it but I think I'm going to change it uh, this is just for a statue and I only planned on making this because I wanted a light source and not really a statue it was just a I just wanted to make like a statue of something but here is the heart um I really like what I did with the chain looking thing I just like deep slate uh stairs and all that and this heart took me a long time I actually um deleted this big part and it took me uh an hour to rebuild it uh, basically, I was, like, doing some, uh, I wouldn't say world edit, but it was, like, I was using a structure block, and I did not put in the right, uh, I don't know, command.
but I fixed it, so that's pretty good. Um, on the top, I'm going to make it day, even though it is cool that it is nighttime and all that. You can see everything, but uh, let me just fix this real quick. Uh, basically, on the top, it's supposed to be like a, this uh, orb sphere thing, and it's emitting light from a beacon. So it's like this. Anyways, there's like these diamond looking things that are holding up the sphere. Also these prisming walls. Uh, but I really like it. In the middle, you have axolotls. And um, I don't know, it's just a, I guess a fountain here. Sorry about the beacon sound. It's a, n a little annoying, but I'm going to replace this so there's no misunderstanding here. Uh, might be another rainbow thing. I'm not so sure, but um, anyways, I think uh, I think this is a really good base. I know it's pretty big, but um, I will start decorating. Um, uh, and let me just say that uh, I'm only I'm gonna make my bedroom down here because I don't want to go all the way upstairs just to sleep, and. It, this part might just be a trophy room and all that the side side domes and this is what it looks like outside um there are some chains on the side of the heart yeah but um i really like what i did here the dome on the sides and the dome on the top so yeah i and it's also a near spawn so if my bed gets broken uh if my bed gets broken i can come back but um Oh, I also did Kent Space in light blue and uh, glow ink sack, so that's pretty cool. And also I used the tinted glass here, so it looks pretty cool. But uh, overall, I think it looks really cool. There's even a balcony here I forgot to talk about. You can look over all the houses and all that. I'm going to decorate, and I'm not going to really cheat in any way i'm just gonna put some chests and a bed uh something like that like just like how mando did it over here with his house um did a lot of things cool things beds his axolotl is trapped down there pretty sad uh but oh, he also has a headroom um all of these heads but i think i'm going to just grind for these heads uh go and explore and find those mobs and kill them but if they are um heads that i can't obtain um by killing them just like uh let me just show you just like these enchantment table ones and uh this light one uh i'm going to just do it for decoration yeah so i'm not going to get the mob heads but i'm only going to get the block heads so yeah I also like what Mando did here. It looks pretty cool. The bookshelf thing. Anyways, I'm going to um, just decorate it a little bit. Uh, not too much. But I will see you when I am finished decorating. Okay, so I might have been a little too um, carried away about the whole beacon situation and all that. So uh, I talked to the owner. He said that it's not allowed. So I... Broke the beacon here. Oh, whoa. I didn't see that. He's building. Wait. Oh, I didn't even see that he was on. Uh, but I broke the beacon uh, again here and there. Uh, I actually made this a fountain. Owner said not to do it. And I also broke the diamond blocks and I replaced those. Um, so here I decorated it. So it's a armor stand place. I'm going to put my good armor in here, like diamond and netherite. Uh, I made a fireplace here, a little jukebox, uh, jukebox on the side and, uh, a library. And I stole the idea from Mando, the using, uh, loom as a empty bookshelf. Um, uh, sorry Mando, but... I also have a kitchen, a TNT tiny block, a crafting table tiny block. This is where I eat. Uh, I don't really know the rules of what I'm allowed to have and what I'm not allowed to have. So if I'm not allowed to have something, then I will replace it like this anvil. I don't know if I'm allowed to have that since it is a lot of iron. 
this is my storage room basically here are my chests there's a lot of chests uh there's a i forgot what it's called but i have that head there um i also want a potion room here and piston head uh up here i didn't do much i replaced the diamond blocks with this i was thinking i will grind uh gold and make like a T so that it's my trophy room i'm going to put all the head mob heads i get here and i might change the stand for what a specific mob it is but uh here are the paintings on the wall they're the same but differently displayed and yeah that's pretty much it this is the main like trophy room so yeah and this is the storage room like i said and here is just the main uh i forgot to make a bedroom uh, i don't really think i need a bedroom i can make it up here i guess uh but yeah that's pretty much it since tyler's online i'm going to talk to him about it but uh, it looks like he is still working on his ship. Um, that's pretty much it for this episode. I didn't want to make it so long. Pro pretty much, I think it is really long already. Um, uh, but I hope you enjoyed this first episode. I know it looks a little crazy. I built this in one day and this the first episode. I am finally done with the build, so I'm not going to ever need creative ever again. So let me just do that real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, episode 1 of TerraCraft. I am now on uh, survival. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. And I will see you in the next episode. Uh, I might grind for some gold to make that tea for the trophy room. But, yeah. Bye! I didn't know, but Tyler was a fan, so shout out to him. Uh, thanks for watching my content and liking it. It uh, is hard because <laughs> not a lot of people watch me. So thanks a lot, Tyler. And um, that is today's shout out.